In this video, we are going to start our new course about upstream. Upstream, or our main focus will be about pipe. So we will focus on pipe. Pipe, something like this. This is a pipeline. We have a pipe here. So if we look from this side, we will have something like this one. Okay, this is the diameter. We can imagine. Okay, we can draw a circle instead of this. And in this case, our circle, our circle will have a thickness so the out the out here okay should have a thickness okay so this the black part here is a thickness and we have a diameter so this is our diameter from outside so this is the diameter outer and we have a smaller diameter here this is a di inner diameter and the black line, this is the thickness of our pipe or the thickness of the wall. Okay, so what is important here is that the diameter outside is less than the diameter inside. And this difference is the, the thickness. Okay, so during this course, we will use a term called schedule. And for the pipeline, most of the time we use schedule 40. There is another schedule like. 80 but in this case we are going to use 40 what does this mean it's related to the thickness so if it's mentioning that we have a schedule 40 which means we have a small wall thickness if we mention that you are going to use a schedule 80 this will mean that you are going to handle a higher pressure so the pressure is high so you will need a higher thickness okay so this is the first thing to know it's important to also know that most of the time during our simulation we are going to use a term called a term okay called nominal diameter through the simulation it will not give you the outer diameter or the inner diameter most of the time it will give you the nominal diameter after writing the nominal diameter the aspen heights will calculate the do and di and after entering the schedule it will itself calculate the thickness okay so this is the first thing to know through this pipe you will have a flow the flow could be a single phase or a double phase and the, the number of phases will affect the correlation that we are going to use so if we look at this table here these are different correlations from Aspen Heights so you can have your flow horizontal like the one I showed before or it could be a vertical so whatever the type of the the flow or the pipe you can have different correlation and most of the time you can have Tulsa and Bacon Prill those are the most famous uh, two correlation okay so um, let's save our time and jump into Aspen Heights our first workshop in the upstream will be gas gathering we will have different streams like this is our gas, uh, this is for well, uh, uh, producing gas. And in this workshop, we will use a pipe segment in Aspen Heights to create simple hydraulic piping model. So each of this stream will pass through um, a pipeline and we will mix them together and collect them to be as the end uh, together. Okay, so if you have different wells, so you can produce different pipes and you collect them together and again collect these two streams and finally you will have one main stream of all the collected gas or gathered stream okay our gas here is not the same composition so maybe in the gas wheel one it's an acid gas and the second one is a sweet gas sometimes we have a stream with a high amount of water so they can have different composition it shouldn't be the same composition also it's important to mention that most of the time during our or most of the time yeah uh, during uh, the simulation we are going to use the schedule 14 and our pipe will be steel piping okay the material will be steel all branches here we are going to bury them one okay L let's discuss this part okay here and this one our whiteboard and i need to discuss okay 
we have this is our pipeline it could be at the surface so this is our surface surface and the pipe is going this way so the elevation equal zero okay it's on the ground sometimes we put a support maybe one meter and we put it like this okay so here the elevation equal one one meter sometimes you under the ground you put it under the ground you bury it okay like this and here if it's this one meter so the elevation here will be negative one because it's under the ground so we will assume that our ground is zero so anything below it will be negative anything above will be positive okay so during this our simulation here this one during our simulation we will bury all um, our um, uh, pipelines in approximately a depth of one meter okay and also we are going to mix them as a mixing operation we will use a mixer okay so let's start we will, are going to add our first branch so we are going to look for our pipe or pipe segment and this is our first pipe segment to create so now we are going to have to open this one and after opening it we are having an inlet here our inlet in this case will be our gas well one this is a stream that we are producing from our first well our outlet will be our branch one out this is our branch one so we are going to name this one a branch one and we are going to use our fluid package basis one we are not going to change it and for this one we are going to have p1 q why do we have an energy here because during the flow you are going to lose some heat um, um, uh, so it's recommended to add this energy stream okay so i need to go back to these uh, four uh, streams and i'll send you i'll upload this uh, file and edit uh, with the video but you need to check that all your streams are this one so b uh, let's ignore b1 and you have four streams and two of them okay so this number four and number three are not well defined okay that's why they are in light blue here okay again to our branch one so we have our branch one now we we should we have done the connection so now we are going to enter the parameter here this these are the correlations that i showed you before here you can show it change the correlation uh, whatever you want but it must fit your pipeline if you are using um, a horizontal pipeline the correlation must be applied for a horizontal pipeline okay so from the design parameter you can select the type of correlations that you are using so in my case i'm going to use tulsa unified model okay so look for tulsa and here we have we are going to choose a two phase we have a liquid and a gas okay we don't have a three phase if you have a three phase you mention that you have water okay so we are going to use it for a horizontal a vertical or inclined pipeline okay so for the three cases we are going to use Tulsa unified model two phase okay so after choosing the correlation now we can go okay here we have our pressure drop or the duty because we have entered an energy stream okay so now uh, we go to our rating and now we are going to do the sizing the sizing of our um, pipeline or our first range to add the information here you are going to append a segment and your segment will be uh, one we have a length of 152 meter and we have an elevation change of six meter okay so elevation change here this is equal six meter and we have a length or equivalent length of 152 meter okay so this is the information we have the fitting our fitting here is a vibe it it could be different thing okay but we are sure that we are here creating a branch of a pipeline okay it's also important to remember that 
the elevation change equals 6 meter means we are above the ground with 6 meter if it equals to 0 it means we are horizontal on the ground if it's negative 6 it means it's buried under the ground with a depth of 6 meter okay so now we are going to view our segment to add the rest of information so our pipe schedule we agreed on 40 okay so we have okay we have 30 10 and 20 but this are um, uh, this have um, a little uh, wall thickness so we need something optimum so 40 is good here i mentioned before we add we have a nominal diameter that we enter and after that it will fill the inner diameter and the outer diameter okay so here we have, after adding a schedule we are going to add our nominal diameter equal 80 millimeter okay it will be 80 millimeter okay so we can choose from here it's a choice you are not going to enter it after adding it it will give you an inner diameter of 77.9 okay and we mentioned before that we are going to use our steel as a pipeline okay uh, this is related to the conductivity so it's 45 but this information is not important now okay so now we are going to our return to our rating sizing these are the information that we have and we have this long pipeline will be divided okay because it's 152 it will be divided into three segments okay so in this case we are going to add another segment and another segment so now we have our three segments and all of them are pipe okay the first one length is 152 the second one is 125 and the third one is 99 meter okay so we divided our branch into three segments okay and after that we have the elevation the first one is six the second one is negative 6.4 which means it's under the ground and the third one is 0.3 okay 0.3 now we have a schedule of four, four so you can select this one and view segment after viewing it you can ch choose a 40 and we have a nominal diameter of 80 80 millimeter okay and now we are done with this one for this one we have also uh, we need a uh, here to enter we have okay we are done with the second one for the third one we are going to view it again and we choose 40 here it will be 80 millimeter 80 millimeter and now we are done okay so now we have defined our three segments inside one branch so we have a branch of this length 152 plus 125 and 99 okay this is the length so we divide it into three segments now we can add any new segment from a bin and you always don't forget to view your segment because most of the time people forget to add the schedule or the nominal um, diameter